Hey, how are y'all today? Okay, so let's get wedding ready this time, okay? So I am visiting a wedding and I was thinking that uh, I'm sure there are weddings in Feb, March, maybe March, I don't know, maybe May, <laughs> whatever. So I have moisturized like usual, Lotus moisturizer is what I use, the non-greasy one. I am priming with zero pore separation pack cream. Yes, that's how it is. And I am using my pack. Uh, 307 brush to prime primer works very well with the pores that I have it also works very very gorgeously I feel this one moisturizes very well gives a very dewy finish to my skin and which is why I love priming there are eye primers lip primers and so many things of course you can go and invest your money and time and uh, every I mean into it <laughs> but I think I work with these primers and they do a great job uh, so far and uh, I don't need to use and invest a lot of money. I mean, after all, makeup is kitna bhi sakar chakar hoge. Ah, uh, very hard kam kar sakte hai. And uh, you and I are not modeling. We're just uh, people who use makeup on a daily basis for lunches, dinners, sometimes weddings, sometimes parties. Next step today, I feel like because it's a wedding day, not my wedding day, <laughs> somebody else's. I should use uh, with my moisturizer. Ah, sorry, my foundation. This uh, strobing cream. A strobing cream basically you use it here to shine these. Uh, places like for example if you pose like this the light falls here and it just shines and looks more glowy and beautiful however today I feel like I should it can be also used inside your foundation so my Nykaa Skin Genius foundation with uh, in the shade warm sand it's a very hydrating foundation like I mentioned and uh, very little strobing cream like super little so it just will shine with your see just very little it's this is in the shade nude I did go for a trial over there and it did a good job so which is why I used it I'm going to blend them both together to make one cream and then apply it I'm going to use a brush to apply it I figured one thing with the brushes what happens is I mean of course you can always use your hands uh, but uh, whenever your hands are dirty like mine are sometimes casual sometimes this one so the brushes work fine so I'm not saying just go invest in brushes you can use your hands and invest in very minimalistic brushes but maybe you know you can just uh, kind of dheere dheere start investing do your research watch youtube videos watch my and other vloggers also and then take a decision that which one are you going to invest in it's not necessary to invest in a lot of brushes immediately like mm, i i remember when i had my foundation uh, brush i wasn't sure uh, if what is a foundation brush and if I should use foundation brush or a buffing brush or I was so confused so according to me then the beauty blender was a one stroke came okay that was doing a very decent job however this like I just ended up picking up one wondering kya karna hai iska so now I figured that I can do a foundation blending with this this is pack 327 mm. now I mean after a year or maybe two of picking it up I put it to use I feel it it's a decent coverage okay and I feel that there is a little shine added to my face because of the strobing cream it it'll just glow nicely on the and the how outfit is heavy so it's not gonna look very uh, very gaudy or something it's just gonna look nice shiny it'll have like small glitters and stuff so it just makes you look gorgeous next step is uh, today I am definitely going to use the concealer the color corrector the color corrector is uh, to be used down here yes you see these under eyes yeah so what happens is when you foundation mostly they don't get covered and they also look like gone in and all like that so then you use an orange color corrector you put it here always use an orange color corrector mostly so that what happens is your grays won't show you know otherwise if you just conceal directly you're going to still show the grays okay so match up with the skin tone see now it looks like one skin it still looks uh, dark here and it looks like one skin yeah so just dot it this is a forever 52 palette which I have picked up it has a yellow orange uh, light concealer and a uh, uh, contouring stuff too I have been only using the orange color corrector and the concealer and have been in love with it because it blends very well it's extremely creamy I haven't heard of the brand before but I just tried it over there and I love the palette see you see it just has given an even tone now I can conceal conceal the down part let's just conceal the down part yeah see that 
and let's conceal this side too we will also contour yeah see that so now everything looks like one skin okay similarly I will also like to conceal it here when I use a concealer up in the eyeshadows what happens is it locks the color the powders that I'm going to put in the form of eyeshadow the powders the colors I'm going to put they will also think of it it like that like if you have a cream on the base like foundation is the base and then you put your uh, powders the powders just get locked and stays there so your makeup will stay for a very long time I remember those days those old days when you used to have like baraf lagao and <laughs> blah blah to makeup rahega and blah blah but I think I love the natural finish I have when I visit weddings and when I see the dulhans ready and they look so elderly in their makeup which is why mostly I prefer doing my makeup by myself I don't enjoy somebody else doing my makeup I love the natural glow that you get okay so which is why my own base of foundation and everything is what I use okay so for contouring like I mentioned my contouring kit is broken so I'm going to use the real technique I'll remember remember I told you guys real technique has this on Amazon uh, I bought it from there and uh, this is what I'm going to use today for my contouring just to create this neat line here yeah so always remember just pick the color tap it like that so that all the extra is gone yeah now use the same brush this is my blush on pack 302 blush and I'm going to just blend it upwards okay so let's finish the contouring first once we're done with your found the base then it becomes way more easier to pick up on everything else yeah just blend and blend upwards so it looks like a part of the skin contouring has become very important for me you see the difference it automatically gives that shape to my uh, cheeks and you know I know that here it should glow and this is falling down so it automatically becomes like that it's which is why so uh, important and makeup people line it like this so people who do uh, the makeup wali if you call uh, they generally would call it an advanced thing but I think it's so basic and important to me because when I do it I have to do it it's so much part of me see that just blend it upwards blend it like that and blend it. don't don't get it very low it's like a very small line here and just keep it here and keep blending it upwards yeah you can also contour this part like your yeah remember I told you if you do not have a brush there I mean a separate brush this is like comes in a this whole thing is a kit but just in case you do not have it just press this and use it and blend it yeah just blend it so this gives a nice shape to your face right okay now the next step we concealed we contoured our face looks nice I would like to the moat our nose jugar is what we Indians do <laughs> and I always have this on my nose like booty dark chalo jugaro so let us kind of use this brush okay I'm going to take the brown and create this line here like that and just down like an L shape line yeah and down similarly so right now the brown looks like very gaudy but you just blend it blending is a blessing if you don't blend everything looks like a line only but if you just keep running the blender I mean basically just run the brush that's what blending is just run the brush like that mix it all together see everything that you have to hide so if you have to show your nose to be very um tikka and nice your now we will put more color so let me pick this brush pack 391 I have many brushes you can uh, uh, which I have not been putting to use but I'm using them for these videos now but otherwise you can just take this champagne -y color pick it here okay all right and hearts here also you can blend it but like I said let me put my brush and see that so automatically this part pops out and this part just goes in with the browns oh, yes that's simple Let's. you blend it downwards yeah that's how so whenever you take a picture then you will understand how different your nose looks otherwise it just looks like a big pakora sorry <laughs> for my nose I feel like that 
uh, now my favorite part I shadows how to choose our shadow colors I just go by the outfit so today I'm wearing a peach and a gold these are the colors that I'm going to choose from so again let's start with uh, the brown the brown yeah pick the color tap the extra take your crease line crease line this is the line yeah just there and a little above yeah just blend it there very lightly blend 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 blending is that part of very yeah, pick the color tap and there you're going to go in semicircular motion perfect yeah you see that shape has come yeah now I have real technique I'm gonna put it in the description box box but uh, I'm going to use a transition color first a transition color will be like a base for me so it's a light brown that I'm using tap the extra I put it down I may not even use to uh, may not need to use like a base color but I'm still using it because I want my uh, metallic to show more beautifully because I have used a concealer now see this color looks very close to my outfit here and it's, it looks like this palette is very well pigmented and it's going to look beautiful that's what my thought is okay so from this line just start coming down so this will be vertical motions yeah brushes make it extremely easy for you but in my videos before I have showed hats and how to use that one angular brush and you can use that too if you want the color more showy and more of this just apply one more time I don't want more see with the same thing just shape it so I don't myself understand a lot of those videos when they do a lot of hacks and this blending and that blending and they're going on and on doing that i myself get confused and i don't understand which color which but i think for me the best thing is i decide what the outfit i decide what is the color that i want to show on the lid and what are the colors so i figured a darker plum brown whatever on the crease line and lighter color down here just shows beautifully and if you pick a palette you find many colors so that becomes so easy so we are almost done with that. I'm going to just pop these lids from here. Apply this here. Like a highlighter here. Highlight this also with the hand. Let's shape the eyebrow. Very important. Pick your brown. X gone. Just move it like this. Yes, baby. We're getting wedding ready. We better take some time. At least 20 minutes. And of course, I'm explaining everything to you step by step. How can you not take some time? 9 to 5, Lakme, my favorite eyeliner. It just works in one stroke. It's so gorgeous and amazing. I'm just going to start it from here. See, for me, whenever I want more color showing in the uh, shadows, I use a liner, like a patla liner. So that what happens is... Uh, not a lot of color is uh, showing on you know gone into the coal just wing it it's so easy to wing it with this one so what happens is if i use something else what will happen it will just use like a motor line will become and uh, it will use up the uh, color from there so I won't be able to show a lot of peach in my eyeshadow so which is why whenever I have to show more color onto my uh, eyeshadow I use mostly a uh, eyeliner that's the only difference that's how I identify the difference between using a coal and uh, for a wedding and for a wedding of course you can go a little bold so waterline with faces pro kajal I always like to fill my upper waterline too so that there is no gap showing no white showing in my eyes let's also do our mascara which I can't find right now I can I did <laughs> and there you go lengthening mascara because I want those lashes to show gorgeously so I am generally doing a two eyeshadow makeup mostly uh, maybe next time I should try a three eyeshadow maybe I should I should try that I've already contoured, so we're going to go on with the blush. Let's do the bronzer. Uh, let's bronze with this color here. Yeah. And I picked the color. I'm going to tap the extra down. Bronzer will always help you to show your blush on color better. 
that's how it works for me so any light color you pick but if you put a golden or a bronze color or any color down what happens is your blush on color will show a little more better now i have ravlon ravishing shimmer rose it's a beautiful peach matches with my outfit and that's what i'm going to use for my take the color so much has come i will still tap the next round maybe we can go a little more with the blush on let's do it the other side i always like to do it simultaneously because uh, immediately if i tell the effect it's always better i feel <laughs> next time if i go to do a good or dusra good or <laughs> so just smile and blush your cheeks <laughs> okay so contouring your lips is doing really well and i think it shows beautifully on your lips so let's try it with the lip brush this time i am going to pick a brown that i have a brown color literally about brown color mm. let's line with the brown basically contouring is to correct the lips the shape you have up and down cupid bows and stuff even i have one more color all the way brown okay now let's blend a little bit of brown down okay so that's just shaped it okay now let us uh, take our actual color the actual color that i want to use today is a peach color which is nika mm, pout perfect smell roses it's a peach color okay that's the actual color this is how it looks uh oops so while i am contouring i also want to contour see contouring okay also I think when I contour the lips look bigger fuller and it stays for a very long time too that's what I feel now the gaps just do a vertical movement okay we can also run the same color on the brown okay blend it all i've taken a little more time on the lip because it's contouring i want to explain it to you guys very well now i have a butter gloss intense in the shade bg60 it's i think discontinued not there anymore it's a peachy shade So when you contour, so outside a brown and inside these colors, whichever you want to use, that color, it just makes it so much more fuller, glowy, and stays more. And anyways, I'm a huge fan of using two colors. So your base will be the matte, and the gloss will come on the top. So it just shows nice and glossy, and inside remains the matte. So that's the base. So it always will help you. Uh, let the lip color stay for a very long time, and it looks gorgeous. It's just so spouting and nice. let the extras go and i think i am totally ready to go for the wedding this is how i want my makeup to look maybe we can just strobe it a little and highlight it a little this is my strobing cream i can just put a little strobe over here and blend it i find it very easy to strobe like this this is a highlighter i think i can't get to those fancy strobing stuff you see when light falls this is where it shows that simple and uh, maybe i like ha i like i have a savanna highlighter uh let's go over it yeah see that glowy shine <laughs> for the beautiful wedding look and the glow i hope you have subscribed i hope your phone is vibrating when i am putting up a video if not please hit the bell notification button too so we will next time come back with something else today we were wedding ready i hope you enjoyed it bye bye stay blessed stay gorgeous